Howdy gang and welcome to your 19th OAuth tutorial and in this video we're going to flesh out a very simple profile page. Okay, so now that we can check if a user is logged in and we're redirecting that user to the profile page when they are logged in, at the minute all we're doing is sending them this stupid message right here and that's not going to happen on a typical website. If this was my profile on Facebook, I'd be bitterly disappointed. So instead, let us create a profile view and okay this is not still going to be great but it's going to be better than this little line right here so let us get rid of this we don't want to send that anymore and instead what we want to do is render a profile view so inside here i'm going to say profile and at the minute it's not going to do anything because we've not created that profile view so let's do that now let's jump in here new file and call this profile.ejs all right so I'm not going to code this out from scratch because I'm super lazy. So instead, I'm going to copy the home view right here and I'm going to paste this in. And this right here, this is all going to basically stay the same, right? So we're going to have that header at the top. Um, we don't really want this text right here. Instead, we'll say, welcome to your profile. Okay. And then in the main, we don't really need anything at the minute either. Now then, so what we're doing here is we're rendering this page when a user goes to forward slash profile. So first of all, let's try this out. Let's go to profile again. And now we see welcome to your profile. And underneath it says homepage. We don't want that either. Okay, save that, view it again. But it doesn't really show whose profile this is, does it? So. What we can do now in the profile route right here, when we're rendering this profile, we can send along some data, right? And that's the second argument right here to this render function. So we can send along an object, which is gonna contain some kind of data. And this object can have different parameters on it. Now, we wanna send back the user to this profile view so that we can render some of that data to the user. So the user knows in the view whose profile it is, all right? So we can send back here the user property. I'm making this property up, by the way. You can call this whatever you want. You can call it uh, melon if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm calling it user because it makes sense. I just wanted you to know that you don't have to call it user. And this property is going to be equal to the request object dot user. Remember, we have access to the user on this request object. So we can send that data back via this object with which is a second parameter of the render function okay so when we try to access this user property inside the view now which we can do then we're going to get that request.user object so say for example i want to add in right here if i want to add some dynamic code or some data inside an ejs template i can do that really simply and all we need to do is open up our angle brackets then it's the percentage sign, looks a bit like PHP and equals, all right? And to close this off, I'm gonna use percentage sign close. Now, we put the equal sign in there when we're outputting some data, which we are doing. If we were just doing some simple logic, we don't necessarily need that uh, equal sign. So we want to output the username. So we'll say user dot username. Does that make sense? Because in the route handler right here, we're saying, okay, well, this is the object that I want to access inside the view. So inside the view, I'm accessing that user object. And this user object is equal to this thing right here. So essentially, when I'm typing user in the profile, it's like saying request.user on the back end, right? And then we're accessing the username property on that user object. Because remember, in the model, we have this username property, right? So there we go. That's how we render some data. Let's save this, cross our fingers, and hope it works. So let me refresh over here. Welcome to your profile, the Net Ninja. Awesome. So down here, later on, what we are gonna do is just maybe add in, I don't know, extra information about you. And what we can do is we can either gain this from their Google profile, or when they sign up to our website using their Google profile, we might add extra information about them, such as their points or their score. And that score can pertain to our website, nothing to do with Google, and we could display that on their profile page. Does that make sense? 
Okay, so let's save this. Let's view it one more time, make sure that's pulled through. And there we go. So we have our profile page now. So if we go to the home page, log in, Google Plus, we're redirected to our profile page and we see the Net Ninja right here. This is who I am. Okay, so this is all cool now. We've got our profile page up and running. The next thing I want to do is show you how we can log out a user because at the minute, if we click log out, then we just see this stupid message logging out and it doesn't do anything. Passport can help us out there. So I'm going to show you how we can do that in the very next tutorial.